Hello again, YouTube. Today I just got back from a uh, town. And first, I got some goodies with me. First up are some uh, new vinyl album purchases from Block Street Records. So let's uh, get into this. First up is the album, the self titled album by uh, GTR. This, I believe, is a uh, original 1986 issue on Arresta. And GTR was a band formed by two prog legends. Uh, yes, guitarist Steve Howe. And also the former guitarist for uh, Genesis, Steve Hackett. And here they are. Uh, picked it. Here they are. Well, here are their photos on the back cover. This is a original Arista re release. And the album sleeve has a uh, has the lyrics printed on the back on it. So very one well, songs songs on here that I first heard, which was the second track of side one, uh, that is the hunter. Just came across it on a compilation, so got that. Uh, all right. And next up is a uh, original Columbia release of Toto's second album, Hydra. This, like the first album, is a, a gatefold. Fold? Right here. Includes photos by, of the band members. This one. Yeah. Also a customer label, which features the trademark uh, sword uh, beneath a ring, and it is a original. Uh, oh yeah, and also the sleeves. The sleeve itself has the lyrics, of both side one and two, right? Okay. There's that. Let's put this back in. Focus's uh, third, third album, simply titled Focus 3, and ooh, that is interesting. And this one is a double, ooh, a double album, <laughs> also a gatefold, and it includes uh, two, uh, four sides to it, and this <laughs> Record sleeve is pretty awesome. Some, some two window, a window here with the band members, and just unique. And there's also an uh, original issue on a uh, Sire Records. Is a another sire? No. Actually, this is a original release on Atco, which is Focus's Hamburger Concerto. So, and, and yeah, it's on Atco. It's on Atco. So, got that one. That one. 
Now this one is a pretty recent reissue of probably one of the most uh, famous uh, progressive rock albums. Oops. And that is Aqualung by Jethro Tull. And this is a uh, reissue on Chrysalis. This and is the 2011 Stephen Wilson Stereo Mix. See? Yeah, it's got the original Chrysalis logo. So, got that. <laughs> okay. Next up is uh, Wishbone Nash's first self titled album. And is this is a another original issue on uh, MCA. Let's see? Also have this on CD two, much like the others. Two more unusual territory with this one. The original uh, issue of the Harvest release of Quatermass's first and only album. I heard these guys' music and it's it is just fantastic and heavy. And it is, as I said, an original Harvest reissue. I mean, issue. Original Harvest issue. <laughs> okay. And here's one I'm really excited about, because I am because this is very much an original issue on the famous Vert Vertigo Records uh, Vert label, and that is the first album by Jade Warrior. See, there's the, uh, don't know if you can see it, but there's the Vertigo logo. And I could get this out. Plastic on plastic. And that's eh, very annoying. If you ever had that happen to you. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That's a ooh. Oh, it's a gateful. Well, this album. A bit flimsy, but anyway, huh? just as I suspected. It is an, an original Vertigo reissue. I mean, issue! <laughs> uh, I'm flummoxing my words. Oh, oh. This, uh, oh, this. I'll be careful with this one. This one might be a little bit. Clumsy. Yeah, probably might have to deal with it later. Later on. So, hop, hop, hop. Next, I've got a class, another classic, and that is an original Atco issue of Iron Butterfly's first album, Heavy. There's also original Atco release. I think, I think this is a no, uh, just a single album. Does it include lyrics? Lyrics? No, no, doesn't look like it. So, think about that. And here is a pretty interesting curiosity that I didn't expect to find. And that is a album by noted Japanese progressive rock band Novella. This is their first album from 1980 on King Records. Records. Records released in 1980. Let's see. And I did not expect did not expect to find an album like this, but I did. Yeah. 
And it looks like it might have a, po a little poster thing. Oh, oh, it's a little booklet. A little booklet. Well, in eh, Japanese, of course. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that's, that's really awesome. Photos of the uh, band here. Nice, nice. Really nice. Did not expect to find anything like this before. Okay. And lastly, an album by Canadian hard rock act Honeymoon Suite, that which is their first album on uh, Warner Brothers in nineteen on nineteen from nineteen eighty four. And huh. this is one of brothers' records. There it is. Uh, it looks like a different labeling from the one that I generally seen before. But oh well. So that's one video. I'll probably be making another soon enough. So be right expecting that sometime. And I'll be leaving a link to the last video, to my last video, and the links to my uh, first two books uh, available for purchase in the on Amazon in the descrip description below. And to all YouTube, have a good day.